Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Parasite Eve 2. I'm your host, Alexander Frost, and this is episode 24. Now, I may or may not be a complete and total idiot. As far as the good, normal, and sad paths go, I believe that it is entirely possible to go hunting and use save points as long as we don't return to the pod where Pierce is and continue the story there. However, because of how long it would take to get from here back up to the pod and do all this level of experimentation, I think it would be easier to just do what I was going to do originally. Everyone chose pretty much option A, go hunting, take the risk. So, that said, I will continue the story and uh, just not save. But before we do any of that, there is one item here that I almost forgot to pick up that is vitally important. His little teddy bear. Aww. So take the teddy bear. No, seriously, I take the damn teddy bear. Okay. Is it over here? Where's the damn teddy bear? Well, that's the MD player, but I don't need it. Oh, wait! Wait, wait. Nope, nope. I do get it, but not yet. Yes, we'll take the ringer solution. I believe. But it is important to note that you need the teddy bear. Now, Aya doesn't, or Eve doesn't say anything except, ah, ah, she's freaking out, so there's no point in talking to her. So let's talk to Kyle and move on. You're telling me something ain't right. Time for reminiscing. Time to get out of here. So that gas is going to start filling the room. We gotta go. But there's something over here worth getting now. Eve, three per day. Do not forget. Oh no. They were making her take protein capsules, and speaking of which, I think it's time I use the one I have. They were making her take three a day to force her growth. That's like, that's like diabolical, baby. Yes. Mother's lying on the back. Well, there's no time to examine this. In order to get out of here, we've got to get to this elevator over here. But I'm stuck on Eve. But for whatever reason, Eve is being all like, I don't want to go. Hey, we gotta go. So how do we get her to go? We look in here to see what she's... Oh. Failed Eve clones. And Eve doesn't want to leave them. So now we have to get her out of here before she dies. Come on, dear. Come on. Now, the gas doesn't actually seem to affect Aya. She's got enough health. 
but Eve is gonna get hurt by it. Come on, dear. Right, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, oh dear. I took too long. Come on, dear. Get on the damn elevator. Okay, we're out. If you're quick enough, you can actually get her out of there before she even coughs or starts losing health. I actually did that on a test run, so... No, really, just take off running. You know, it's, it's totally cool. So as you can see, the entire place has lit up. Look at this. Oh, it's not good for our health. That's odd. Dying NMCs? What could have done this? There's another one? Hey man, easy experience and bonus points. I'm not gonna complain. Although I will do this. How's combustion looking? Looking like I can use it. But let's hold off on wasting my MP for right now. Oh no, there's something on the island. How do we get over there? Do I need to use the pyramid again? Probably. It bears investigation. But now, even more dying ones. Again, not looking good. I mean, the, the experience, the easy experience is certainly nice, but it's... It's still a little bit unnerving. Oh dear. So this whole time, this whole time, number nine was manipulating events 
the A&M seeds appearing in the Acropolis Tower, Dryfield, all of this was to lure Aya here so she could break down the barrier and leave Eve exposed. Well, no time for that. Now we need to chase down Mr. Monkey and beat the shit out of him. There he- wait a minute, that ain't him. This, boys and girls, is a new breed of enemy. This is the Pawn Golem. Ow, and he hit me. Damn it. These guys have a lot of health. And they're very resilient. So first of all, what you want to do is don't panic. If you have antibody and energy shot, use them. Secondly, they're not as dangerous as you might think if you know how to handle them, which I do. Much like number 9, they'll only attack when they get close enough, and because they're so slow when they move, you can easily slip around them. Their weak point is their back. So what you gotta do is really just avoid them. Of course, as you saw, that really didn't do much of anything. Now fortunately, they are vulnerable to electricity, so a little plasma will go a long way. Now when you see them start to spark and leave electricity like that, it means they're dead. And the good thing, believe it or not, the good thing about these guys is when you kill them, they don't melt. I've been waiting for these. Go ahead and use that, and then move the Spartan Rounds over. There we go. Spartan Rounds are the most powerful. I believe I've explained this before. And if I'm going to be using the P229 as well as the M4A1 Assault Rifle, this is the way to go. Now, for the most part, I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and switch to the more powerful M4. Because it's got the grenade launcher attachment which is going to come in handy for those, shall we say, tense moments? As you saw in the cutscene in the last video, or perhaps it was the video before, I forget, there's more than just the pawn golem here. There are other variants out there that we're going to have to run into and fight. There's also a chef mo chess motif going on. Alright, I know there are more around here. In this situation, the best thing to do is to look for the golems that are responsible for this. Ignore the dying enemies. You can get them later. Wow. Or not. Well, shit. Might as well be extravagant about it. No, no. Aim. There we go. Forgetting my buttons for a minute there. Is that all of them? Yeah, that's all of them. Yeah, I know that seemed wasteful, but I got a lot of MP back from it, and, uh... Well, hell. I might as well use the, uh, the upgrade I'm gonna get for pyrokine or pyrokinesis for combustion. To refill my... my MP. Now, there shouldn't be any enemies here, but... Aha! Hi there! How you doing, sir? If you don't mind, I'm just gonna do this real quick. Oh god, there's two of them! Yeah, they don't travel alone, usually. And I can't see which way I'm facing. Okay. You know what I realized I should have done? A little bit of this. Now, because these guys are weak to electricity... Ow. 
Ow. Did I kill him? No, I just... Yeah, he's dead. Damn it, I can't back up fast enough. Alright, I got something for you. Wait, what did he do to me? <laughs> yeah, what do you think of that? Item obtained and a bonus item. Get, I will take them both. And I'll go ahead and take the opportunity to level up Combustion, and what do we get for doing that? Aside from making it more powerful, we also get the Mighty Inferno. This uses radioactive isotopes, I don't know where we got them, to set off nuclear fission. The resulting Inferno turns targets into lumps of scar tissue. As you can see, it just covers the entire screen, but it's going to cost... How much to revive? 3,000? hefty amount. I'm taking the opportunity to move the thing again, because apparently someone f moved it back. Okay, just skip this cutscene, we've seen it before. Now I'm gonna go back, clear out the island, and then we'll move on to finishing up cleaning Neo Ark. And then with any luck, we'll never have to come back here again, except we probably will. And I admit, I kind of like how the bodies are left like that. Sort of like little mini trophies, just to show, yeah, I did kill these things. I know it seems kind of morbid, but think about it. The entire game, you've been fighting NMCs and ANMCs, creatures that melt into puddles of goo that eventually vanish after you've killed them. So there's no way to sort of prove that you've actually done anything. I mean, it's not like you can show off how many bounty points you have, right? This... this leaves an actual physical representation. Just to prove I did it. Also, whenever you kill these things, they'll stay there until another hot zone appears over them and the bodies get moved. So they also kind of act like a, a, a safety marker. You'll know that an area has been infested with creatures again whenever the, uh, the bodies disappear. So that's kind of a nice thing to know. Or perhaps I'm just a morbid fucker, I don't know. Now, are we dealing with the dead and dying again? Yeah, well, might as well show off the new and improved Combustion 3. That's it. Oh no! There's more down below. Yep. Well, that's it. Like I said, every little bit of HP, or every little bit of BP and experience counts. Every. Little. Bit. Ah, tasty. So chances are we're probably not going to get out of Neo Arc before the end of this video. But with any luck we'll be close to cleaning it up, if not completely done cleaning it up, I'm not sure. We'll just have to wait and see how things pan out. I mean, dealing with the golems is not as hard as it looks, as long as you, one, don't panic, and two, are prepared. And, uh, as you can clearly see, I am fairly well prepared and didn't panic. Now, there's more than one variant of the pawn golem. There's also a grenade variant, which we will be facing soon enough. Again, a little energy shot. You know, I really need to bump that up to level 3. I mean, I really need to.
You missed, buddy. Yeah, that was kind of overkill. Yeah, he was he was trying to get at me. Oh. Come on, make up your mind. Where are you going? I got lucky on that one. And the good thing about fighting these guys is they cough up a lot of experience, a lot of BP, and more often than not, an item, and in this case, a bonus item. Nice. You know what? No. No. Load the hiker rounds. And then, it's kind of dangerous, but I want you to go ahead and put... You know what? No, don't. If I run out of Spartan rounds while I'm fighting, I'll just switch back to the M4. The best way to fight any golem, really, is to use a shotgun loaded with R-slugs. That's the best way to fight them. Now again, from here, we could leave, but we still have all of that area to clear the South Promenade. And it's not nearly as long and twisty and winding as the northern pathway, so it won't take as long, I hope. I don't even know what kind of golem we're facing here. It looks like from the helmet, it's a pawn. But, it's a grenade variant. The way they fight is they lock that little laser onto you and try and hit you with grenades. If you get too close, though, they'll, you know, kind of back off and be all like, what are you doing? Yeah, not only do the grenades hurt, they inflict status effects. In this case, blindness. Yeah, that doesn't do shit to them. Now, whenever you do knock them down, whenever they're down to like under a hundred health or so, they'll fall down and just kind of shake on the ground. When that happens, you can safely ignore them and take out the other golems, then come back and finish them off. Yeah, come back and finish him off. I was trying to slip around behind him. Maybe these guys aren't vulnerable. Ow, to back attack. The other thing you gotta be careful is, if you get too close, they'll just be like, Bitch, please, and smack you with their grenade launcher. Alright, that takes care of him. Nice. Ooh. I will take the normal grenades, please. The riot grenades can kiss my ass. Those things are worthless. If you're going to use a grenade, just use a normal grenade. Honestly, just use normal grenades. Don't go with the riot grenades or the airburst grenades. That's a sword variant. Oh, goody, 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 goody. There's a sword variant and... You know what? Fuck his shit up. Eh. I'll be fine. There we go. The game has been nice. Only making me fight pawns so far. I will take the Spartan rounds. Again, the riot rounds. Well, that does bear investigation. Except that uh, it's all full. I'm curious if if the riot rounds would actually stun them or not. But I don't have any room. And I don't have anything I can particularly. I have. Four ringer solutions? Wow. Well... Now... 
curious, but not worth risking. Oh, hey. Does that mean I can upgrade energy shot now? No, not quite. Not quite. I'd like to push energy shot up before I consider getting Inferno. Now, this is not a good place to fight against golems, particularly if they're sword types. Alright, they know I'm here. I can't see them on my GPS, but they know I'm here. Alright, he's on my left. Hey there! How you doing, sir? Well, you're doing wonderful today, I can tell. Yeah, don't be too close behind them when they do that, because, uh... Ooh, critical! Hey, do you like fire? I'm gonna say no. I will take all of that. Alright. Oh, but there's still something... Did I miss going to the generator? I think I did. I completely bypassed it because I didn't think about it. Okay, apparently the scorpions are hiding in here, and I don't blame them, to be honest. Oh, black beetles. Well, you know what they say. School fire goes a long way. I will keep using... I can't use fire. I've run out. Apparently using the flashlight on these things makes them hop up and down like they're on crack. Are you okay? I mean, I can understand why you're kind of flipping out. I mean, you've got how many eyes? Oh, damn. There we go. Is this area clear now? I keep hitting start when I should be. Yep, yep, it's good now. Um, I keep hitting start to look at the map when I don't need to. I've been playing Red Dead Revolver, or Red Dead Redemption, and in order to access the map I have to pause and then press start, which seems kind of silly in hindsight, but uh, well, there it is. Alright, we have cleaned out Neo Arc for the second or third time. I'm not sure. Let's go, I'm gonna go out on limb and say third time. Yeah, let's say third time. And, uh, and, uh, yeah, I like that, third time. <laughs> Neo Arc is now officially clear of infestation for the moment. We will have to come back and do some hunting one more time. But that is in a little while. Before we can even do that, though, we need to find our way back up to the shelter and back to Dryfield because Dryfield is a mess again. All right. Oh, you know what I should do while I'm thinking about it? No, I don't have enough yet, damn it. Well, I tell you what I can do, I can go ahead and use that MP boost too, to free up a slot in my inventory instead. And then, once I get 4,000, I will upgrade to energy shot. Well, not upgrade too, I will upgrade energy shot so that it does more damage cost less MP and ATP, and then I will focus on Inferno. You know what, I may not even get to do that, really, now that I think about it. On my subsequent playthroughs, I should be able to, just because in the subsequent playthroughs, um, the cost of reactivating PE abilities gets cut down, it uses less EXP. So getting some of these abilities early on will be much, much easier. 
so I might not even get to show off Inferno this time, folks. However, before I can do any of that, we've got to finish this run. And before we can finish this run, i got to pause the video, because I'm at my time limit. Next time, we will make our way up and out of Neo Arc, back to the shelter, and proceed to clean it up. So, until next time, everyone.